everybody, it is I, Menace, back to another YouTube video, and I don't want to re-record this, so let's just get off it, I get off it, I'm having a bad day, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm just having one of those moments, I keep having to re-record this part, and I'm getting irritated, and I want to get on with the video, <sighs> now I gotta re-explain everything, and I don't want to, but we're gonna have to, because I keep having to re-record this, so let's just get on with it. <laughs> okay, I got a lot on my system. Here we go. Welcome back to the Y-Wing Bomber Super Fortress. That is a mouthful, but I think it has a bit of a nice ring to it. What do you think? Huh? 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 What do you think? I think it has a great ring to it. So the way this works is I want to make a bomber unlike anything else. A bomber that is, by definition, bulletproof, bombproof, basically everything proof. And that's where the bedrock comes into play. So, this has a unique staging of where how it's going to work. The first stage is closed position. All these hatches here are closed. You can't get in no matter how hard you try. You can do your very best, but I highly doubt you're going to be able to get in. I mean, come on, it's, it's bedrock. You could fire the best TNT cannon you can physically buy known to man. It's not going to pierce this hide. Uh-uh, it's bedrock. And you can't even see the hatches anyway, so you don't know where the TNT is. And you need to explode the TNT to cause internal damage. Next stage, hatches open. The TNT will all fall out, and then the hatches will immediately close afterward all right but now today we're doing something a little bit boring i gotta make the body of the beast the plane the big cheese whatever term you want to use i really do not care all right so i'm thinking a bit of a y-wing design so what i'm gonna do here is first things first how about we just extend this back a little bit I'm going to do more decals and design later on, so just worry about that at a different date. For now, let's go into some therapeutic. Let's build this body. Got to give it plenty of space so that the, the pilots and the other workers on the inside can move around freely without feeling like a claustrophobic tin can like Iron Man, no offense. Suit's awesome, not a lot of space. You get the idea here. So now this will become the wall. But yeah, there's not enough space on here. Because I actually want a tail gunner. So what I need to do here now is I need to give it a bit more space. And then draw it back. Star Wars has a very unique design set. I mean, their designs aren't perfected they weren't perfected until maybe the time of the first order and that was long after the originals came out so i'd say that's plenty of space for a tail gunner maybe two or three that'll make it very versatile and ambidextrous in a fight what am i even saying i don't even know why a plane would even be ambidextrous but that's just how things are sometimes so, with a bedrock shell, it will be virtually and physically untouchable. <laughs> virtually and physically. What about spiritually? I guess we'll never know until we get fully tested now, will we? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a problem. But, I have already thought of a solution. If you haven't noticed, I, I just did something stupid. I completely sealed off the access to the dispensers, which means you can't reload all of them. <laughs> Do you really think that's going to stop me? There is a way to solve everything. There is always 
a way. There's always a way. Why did they go even saying this? All you gotta do is take, take a command block and use this right here. That's that's literally the solution. That right there solution. We're gonna make a command block turn these into doors. I'm gonna need four of them. And that's literally gonna be the solution to this problem. Boom, bam, done. Piece of cake. Now you can go in, you can access all the dispensers, put in all the TNT you want. TNT, C4, <laughs> if you got the money, maybe a couple nuclear bombs while you're at it, who knows. The governments and the armies of the world, they, they like their explosives. They, they really, really do. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just the, the, the feeling of blowing up something very gigantic gives you a sense of power and, and dignity. Who, who really knows? For me, I'm, I'm not really a demo man. I'm, I'm more of a the soldier type of guy. That's just how I am. Okay, so shape-wise, this is pretty aerodynamic. Quite small in thickness. I mean, sure, it's roughly 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 to 16 feet tall. But that's, that's pretty thin in thickness for a plane. So that's going to make it a little bit faster speed-wise. And boom, one side is done. It took me five minutes. Oh gosh. I wish I could be using slash fill, but the, I don't use slash fill unless I absolutely need to for a giant area. All right. We can do this. We can do this. You're not doing anything. You're just watching a video. I can do this. I, I know I can do this. I'm a master builder. Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? I like to see Dream do this. I would l just love to see Dream try to do this. He's nowhere near my level. Haha, <laughs> take that dream. A lot of you are like, why are you, why are you making fun of dream? Well, he's a cheapskate. Yeah, he's a pretty good manhunter. But when it comes down to it, he's a cheater. He literally admitted that he was cheating during speedruns, and somehow that made him even more popular, which defies logic. You see, I looked at that like, oh, he was cheating? Okay, that makes him less of a Minecrafter to me less of an actual speedrunner or player. But they're like, oh, we love you even more, Dream. Even though you cheated, we respect you even more now. Despite spies all logic, we, we, we demand to love you more. And then there's me, wasting my time making a bedrock bomber to show everybody that I'm a good builder and somehow I'm just being neglected. I don't really care. He has his medicine, I got mine, he does his videos, I do mine. We all have our unique traits. Every person is beautiful in their own way. I stand by that sentiment, I stand by that line. That is who I am as a person. I mean, one day I might be even more popular than Dream. I might be as popular as him. Well, we don't really know these things. I'd say... Yeah. Come on, man. You, you can do better. You can do better. You know you can. That, that's a cheap design and you know it. Yeah, I know. All right, let's make it a little bit more aerodynamic. 
a little bit faster. I want something that's going to look at the wind and say, hey, you're going to go by me right now. And you're not going to hold me back. See that? That's a little bit faster in design. That's, that's perfect. That's beautiful. We got the money. We got the power. We got the technology to make it happen. We got the bedrock. We got the command block. We got the redstone to make it how. Ow! I don't know what I just sung, so don't quote me on that. Please, I beg you. Please don't. Don't. I just think I'd do a tour of that place. That that's a craft that holds light bombers. It's it's my basic Y wing bomber chip design. Oh, this takes so much time. It's only been eleven mini mini minutes. It's only been eleven minutes. What am I saying? Eleven minutes. <laughs> That moment when your brain tries to make words, but all, all you get is nonsense. Another mini from you. And then this will be speaking right because his brain has gone all crazy. <laughs> Beautiful. That is a thing of beauty. That'll give it a more aerodynamic design, which will in turn make it a little bit faster in the stack category. So when I add the engines, it'll make it just go zip right across the sky. And here we go taking off a little bit of the excess weight to make it in turn a little bit quicker so kind of squeal or something and by taking off this excess weight also in turn make it a little bit lighter which will make it even faster you know what let's keep those corners right there i think it'll give it a little bit more Resistance to the wind. Man, I still gotta add turrets and crap like that. Man, I got so much work I gotta do, don't I? I still need to do the important things like um, beds and ammunition storage and uh, a bathroom. You can't have a plane without a bathroom. It's common logic. Unless it's a military plane. But this is a military plane and it's going to have a bathroom. Because that is a needed thing. And plus, it's, it's completely bomb-proof. So I think we can afford a little bit of luxury for this plane. I, I don't think it's going to matter. Let's just extend that a little bit more. Give it more of like um, the World War II kind of feel. Okay. Give me a barrier. I got some of them at my house, but I really don't want to fly all the way there and get a barrier. So I give myself, obviously. B. A. R. R. I. Ear. Barrier! And then how about some blue windows? R respect the black and blue colors of the wreckers. <laughs> Deckers. Deckers are the greatest wreckers. Now 
it's got a bomb proof front, but that's not going to be enough for my books. So I need to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. And that leads us to voila. All we need now is finishing supports and windows. After that, we can do outer decals and turrets and whatnot, different day. And I still gotta do the command blocks on the inside. I still gotta do that crap. All right. Take off a little bit more of the excess weight. Make it as light as I can for the shell. They'll often, often do this when they make a design. They'll take off all the excess weight that they can to make it even faster. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it leads to failures. Like a very certain tank I know. That's body was so heavy and the treads were so light that it couldn't even drive over mud. Still like the tank. It was really cool, but man, the minute you got on mud, <laughs> it, it was a goner. The tank was completely ruined. You could not recover it. You had to pull it out of the mud and then fix the whole inside because the engines would blow out. Fascinating, right? You're learning so much today. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do for this. I want windows there, there, and there. Spread it out a little bit, kind of like that. Then do this. Now I gotta bring it up. And up. Up again. Perfect. Now got to give it that brace support feel, that, that kind of feel you feel when you're in a plane. You feel? You know? And it's fine if you don't know. I've, I've been in many planes. I even got the fly one once. Pretty sure I gave the people a heart attack while I was landing. Ah, eh, who knows? That gives me the feel I'm going for. That doesn't. That, that looks like a spaceship. Uh uh. What was I thinking? I was thinking it was going to be, you know, classy, but uh, I failed because uh, that's what I was thinking. No. Yes. No. 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 <laughs> there we go. I'm going to extend that just a little bit more. Okay, that'll work. It won't be as fast as I want it to be, but that, that'll work. Because once I do this, dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun 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 dun. dun. You can't even touch it now. You you can't even touch it. You can't even harm it. Try all you like, but 
I built it, and only know I only I know how to break it, and that's not gonna happen because uh, that's just how I am. Yeah, just keep that aerodynamic feel. It'll cut down on drag on the bottom and have a little bit on top, but it's not gonna matter in the long run. It's just not gonna matter. Oh wait. If I do that, it'll give me the speed I want. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's that's the kind of speed I needed. Okay, perfect. Now, let's do this. One, two, three, four. Now, no, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> Make me complaining over nothing. Mm. Okay, not the look I was going for. Okay, um... I'm trying to give it an eyeball feel. To make it look like an eye. And that's a little bit difficult here. So, eye-wise, how about a sea lantern? I can even find the dang block. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. That reminds me of the way the bombers used to look. That's perfect. Oh. And I forgot to make the... Crap. Where am I gonna put that? Because I, I don't have a spot for that yet. I, I guess for now, I'll just put a hole here. I need to make a part that'll hook up, like, the hatches from Star Wars. So I can actually board it while it's in the air. And that's gonna be a bit tricky, but I, I think I can manage it. I can manage it. Okay, now. Eyeball look. Show me what you got. I feel but now now I need the pupil and those are usually further forward I'm gonna go off a shroom light don't ask me why <laughs> still missing something it has the eye feel but we're we're missing something here. We are we are clearly missing something. Ah, the teeth. The, the old bombers had paint jobs of teeth on them. So what if I just added some teeth? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Give it some more. little bit more hmm, not sending the message I want um, okay time to add something else oh wait I got it I, I got it 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 I know what I have to do add a block here to cut down on drag Add another block there. Six more there. Wait. Is that? One, two, three. One, two, three. trying to give it that feel and I'm, I'm not achieving it yet all right there we go that looks like an animal see there's there's the eye the pupil and the teeth 
that gives me the feeling of animal. They would paint their planes in such a manner that, that they looked like they were viciously angry. They had lots of sharp teeth, they had eyeballs on them, some even painted noses on the actual nose of the plane. It was very interesting. Really gave it character. Really gave the planes a, a unique style, and I absolutely loved it. It made them look more alive than anything else in the world to me. Yeah, I like that. That's perfect. Now we do the boring part, the part that no one even cares about. Command blocks. Look at this. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Just add a couple lights in here. You're going to need lighting if you end up going in this place, because this, this looks like a dark cave. Hello? Mom, is that you? I am loving these spy glasses. Ah, I'm blinded! <laughs> Jokes. Let's see how that looks now. That is so loud, my gosh. Um, put one there, put one there. By, by gosh, put some around the sides. It is absolutely dark in here. Okay, what do we got? I need this, I need that. Let's put it there. And there, voila. Hmm. There we go. That'll cut down on how much space it'll take up and it'll make it easier for me to use. That is perfect. We're almost done with today's video. Almost done. <laughs> I could add a light in here, but uh, this is going to ruin everything, because what if I try to spawn TNT and it kills us all? There should be no reason that, that, that this will even backfire. I don't even have to leave. How about that? I could just stand right here. Slash, fill, one, three, nine, six, five, seven, eight, nine. Seven, ninety, sixty, six. Bedrock. And there we go. It works. Let's make that air. Open. Close. Open. Close. And you know what? Just for the sake of having so many switches, let's make these ones buttons to save time a little bit. Because that's how armies are meant to be. They're meant to be efficient. That's how it's done, right there. That is how it's done. These ones don't work. 
but they're going to. I will make them work. It's funny how I'm just memorizing every single thing by one look. error, that would have been bad. Eight. Oh. One. Air. It's like you just walk in the doorway and all of a sudden, boop, I'm filled with air. <laughs> that would be weird. everything right otherwise it's not gonna work there I declare I'm better at building than dream ever is I've made a body I've made a weapon now next time next time we'll be doing guns cannons maybe some decor piloting area I don't know but we're making progress. Oh yeah. I still gotta pick a spot to make a hatch where people can actually board it safely. But so far, that is looking more and more like a plane. More and more like an actual bomber. More and more like something that'll give me nightmares. And that literally wants to give me nightmares. One more thing. Just to make sure no baddies decide they want to break my windows mid-flight I'm gonna add some barrier protection so they can't harm me or anyone that uses this and we're done voila the body is now complete at least stage one thank you everybody so much for watching this is Minnesota Decker signing off and I will see you, you, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you next time. <laughs>